everybody and welcome to the River Cams. You're speaking to Steph today. I'm manning the cameras from this fantastic office that I have perched up on top of the Ololo escarpment that you can see in the background of those illies. And isn't this just fantastic? On the banks of the Mara River, we have a herd of elephant. And this is pretty much a standard size herd of elephant for this part of Kenya. You're looking at between eight and 12 individuals. Let's count them quickly and find out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elephant exactly on the dot. How's that for luck? So this would be one family group headed up by a matriarch, supported by her eldest daughters and potentially her mother, who isn't the matriarch. They can, uh, they can give away their, their matriarchal uh, title once the, um, once the, the lead cow gets too old. But I don't see a very ancient elephant here, so I would imagine that we have a scenario here with a lead cow being the oldest one, supported by her eldest daughters, and then of course all of their babies and all of her babies up until the youngest one. And let's see where we can see the youngest one right now. I think that one in the front there is actually the smallest one. We might, oh, sorry. I'm just trying to get the settings right on this camera. Now, Ellie's would be nervous of going too deep into the water. They are very intelligent, and therefore they would be able to think that too strong a current will actually wash away the babies and there's always the danger of crocodiles and just have a look there bottom left of the screen look at that crocodile that's lying just there these elephant probably saw that crocodile on the way in and that croc doesn't really care either because it's too cold or simply because it uh, it doesn't really care about that ah i see lots of you are commenting that you really like to see elephant i must agree with you isn't this just a superb sighting of some elephant on the side of a river in the mara with the ululolo escarpment in the background just have a look at that view isn't that just beautiful now as you can see it's drying out here not quite as dry as juma is where byron's driving around and that's because this place pretty much has two wet seasons a year and then a dry season. We're inside the dry season now, the, the wet season, the long wet, as they call it, ended at, uh, in the end of May, and we'll start getting rain again in about November. Um, the short wet is from December to the end of January. Oh, just look at these Ellie's having a ball of a time. Now this elephant here, have a look at that, stretching out its hamstrings, and almost, almost uh, almost using its mouth really as, 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 as to drink with. Now that's not uncommon for elephant. They, they will, they will um, use their mouths up to about six months of age rather than their trunk. It takes a bit of time to get that appendage actually doing what it wants it to do. And you can see there that the motor control of their trunk is not that great. I would imagine that this little elephant then is around about six years, six months old. And that's why it's gone down on its haunches like that to get its mouth close to the water. It is using its feet. Have a look at how cute that crossing of the back leg is. <laughs> uh, that is just fantastic. Excuse my camera work. Just with a youngster jostling it around over there. Isn't that just awesome? I love elephant. You know, they're such a social, such a tactile animal that they always stay literally within sound of one another. So in a herd, at least the females will always be within sound of their herd their entire life. And for a lot of baby elephants, with the first five years of their life, they're within touching distance of their mother. Can you imagine? Now, obviously, there are times when they won't be, but they, they, they are quite often... I would say most of the time within touching distance of their mothers. Isn't that just fantastic? Now, they'll drink once a day. So these Ellie's at the moment are walking from the escarpment in the background over there. There's a lot of woody species of trees on that escarpment. They're walking from the escarpment to the river to drink water and then back to the escarpment again in the early evenings. Quite often, unfortunately, raiding shambas. Now, a shamba in Kenya is a vegetable garden and quite often this puts the animals and humans into, con into conflict with one another and it's not uncommon to hear of 
people being bashed around by elephant trying to protect their crops and elephant being speared and poisoned by people who are literally just trying to protect their crops. So there's a little bit of attrition and it's quite sad, but the fact that these reserves are open is for me outweighs it. Shari, you wanted to know, isn't it true that elephant bulls become a little bit crazy of the smell of afterbirth? Um, yo, let me try and see if I can answer that using just what I've seen. Um, is there heightened excitement around an elephant herd when a baby is born? Absolutely. I would say that you, you very rarely are going to encounter, outside of an aggressive response to something, more excitement uh, from elephant than when a baby elephant is born. Um, is it limited to bull elephant? No, it's not limited to bull elephant. It's the entire herd has this sense of anxiety around it and this expectation and they corral around the mother elephant who is obviously in distress. I mean, pushing out a baby calf that weighs 200 pounds is not easy. Um, and then obviously the smell of blood and mucus is an attractant to predators. And these elephants would be on high, on high alert in case anything came out of the out of the bushes for that and uh, basically just to answer your question there then Shari I don't think it's limited to male elephant I would assume that it is probably all elephants and it's just because the birth of a baby is such a traumatic event for an intelligent animal you can imagine thinking about all the pain that an animal goes through blood what is that smell of blood oh the blood's going to attract predators we must save ourselves from that now i'm not saying that elephant go through that process of thought but they're not far off to be quite honest with you elephant definitely definitely are intelligent enough to rationalize out and have fear because of that I mean, you can even see now just the fact that they are walking in a circle is part of that protective circle that they produce around the cubs around the calves excuse me I don't even know what I'm saying around the calves when it comes down to drinking in a potentially stressful environment like this you can see that young bull off to the right he's just a teenager he obviously doesn't want to be caught up with mom and all the babies and the crush in the center all right now what we're going to be doing is um, sending you over to James who is still sitting with those two male lines of his